Hey guys, it's Drew here from Lone Fox. Welcome back to my channel. Today's a really fun video because it's my first video in like my miniature back to school series that I'm going to be doing on this channel. And this video is actually going to be a lot of DIY back to school supplies because I know personally when I was younger, like my parents would not let me pick out like the $19 binder that was all cool and fresh and funky. You know, they wanted me to get like the 99 cent one or like you don't need that $19 binder. So I thought in this video, like why don't we take a 99 cent binder and turn it into that $19 one that you never were able to get that you always wanted. So that's exactly what I'm going to do in this video. It's going to be a couple of DIY back to school supplies that you guys can implement and just like jazz up some more inexpensive supplies you could buy at the store with just stuff that you might have at your house already. And definitely subscribe to my channel for more. I post DIY projects on here, home decor videos, home tours, all that fun stuff related to like home and life, you know? So I'm actually doing a giveaway at the end of the video with a backpack full of back to school supplies. I did this on my main channel last year and it was a huge success. So definitely stick around to the end of this video to find out how you can enter on that giveaway. Um, it's going to be right at the end of the video after I do the DIY projects but I think that we should just roll into the DIY projects and then roll into the giveaway right after and I'm so excited For this first project, all you're going to need is a composition book, some embroidery needles, embroidery floss, black paint, tape, and Mod Podge. So I started off by using my tape just to mask the edge of my composition book off so I didn't get any paint on it. And then I used a bit of black paint and this Americana brand black paint from Michaels was amazing because it coated the whole front of this um, composition book in one coat. Like I didn't even have to do two coats, it was amazing. So all I did was do a thin coat of black paint and then use a bit of Mod Podge and just did a nice thin coat of Mod Podge as well. And the Mod Podge is just nice because is actually going to seal in the cover so if you spill water on it or you just get anything on it it's just gonna lock it in so that it can't scratch off or anything and then I used a pencil just to sort of trace out my initials in the bottom right hand corner which is DS and I thought this was a really fun idea you can really do whatever you want as well so I used my needle to pre poke all the holes for the DS just so I knew exactly where I was going to be uh, stitching so um, all you're going to do is then use your embroidery floss and needle and just go through in and out the holes and embroider the front side of your journal it's super self-explanatory and easy. Um, you're just going to go around and stitch all around the letters and move on to the next one. Once it's all done, you're just going to tape the back side off and then you're going to pull the tape off the edge to reveal your nice clean binding on the side. And that's your finished book. Next up, we're creating these personalized pencils and all you're going to need is some gold spray paint, some basic pencils and washi tape. So we're starting off with the brass pencil design and all I did was use a bit of washi tape just to cover up the eraser because of course we do want it to be functional and able to use it as an eraser. So we're covering it up and just like masking off that tip. And then I used a small little box to um, sort of back the project as I sprayed it. So I did a nice coating of this 18 karat gold spray paint, which is my favorite stuff in the world. If you follow this channel, you would know that. And all I did was wait for them to to dry about 10 minutes and then flip them one time and then sprayed them again and then did the same thing one more time so I sprayed it a total of three times and then just removed the tape once it's completely dry to reveal the eraser and that's nice and clean and fresh and then you have your brass pencil and it sharpens just like a normal one but I also wanted to share with you guys how to create this washi tape pencil and this is sort of like an impromptu design so I used a little bit of washi tape and um, I did two strips one on one side one on the opposite side and just did it down the whole length of the pencil and then I used use a tiny bit of Mod Podge just to lock in the design because you don't want it to peel up anywhere. So just do a super thin coating of Mod Podge down the whole pencil. And um, this doesn't affect it at all. It just like really creates a nice seal on the actual pencil and then you can sharpen it and you have your completed personalized pencil set. This pencil case is hands down my favorite thing in the video and all I used was a basic black pencil pouch from Target, a little bit of gold spray paint and a paintbrush. So I used the gold spray paint and just sprayed it and then used it as actual paint just to like paint on. And the reason I did this is because the gold spray paint is much more metallic than any like typical gold paint that I use. So I just used a nice flat edged paintbrush on top of this black canvas pouch and it's super easy. I just did star designs um, and freehanded the entire thing. So it might look odd at first, but trust me at the end of this, once you put 
in a lot of it and then you do the final spray which i'll show you in a bit so i just did a mixture of like moons and stars and i did full moons and i also started just like dry brushing some areas too just to kind of give a texture but what really completed the pencil pouch was just doing random spritzes of gold paint because it really adds a nice splattered starry night effect and fills in all of the open gaps and just makes it look absolutely incredible you guys like i'm so obsessed with this i think it looks insane Last but not least, I wanted to show a super inexpensive way to rewrap your notebooks with wrapping paper. And then I also used a ruler, pencil, scissors, and double-sided tape. So what I started off by doing was just laying down this wrapping paper, which is from Hearth and Hand. It has these really cute little houses on it. And I traced the front side of the notebook onto the back side of the wrapping paper and then cut about an inch extra on each side, as you can see here. And this is because we're actually going to be wrapping it as a present. So we need a little bit of extra space. And you're going to need two of these panels, one for the front and one for the back. And then I use a little bit of double sided tape on the front side I did it along all four edges and then just a little bit in the center as well so we have like an extra strong bond and then I placed on top of it the wrapping paper panel of course and then we flipped it over and once we flipped it over I cut off the corners because when you fold it up and over and tape it down this is going to make it super clean along those corners but we also want to cover the inside so what I did was just measure out and see how much wrapping paper I wanted to put on the inside and then I cut two panels for the inside one for the back cover and one for the front cover from this wrapping paper and I don't think I mentioned but this wrapping paper is from the hearth and hand collection from Target I really love it and um, super inexpensive way to rewrap your journals as well so I cut two panels and then I use double-sided tape just to tape these two panels on the inside and that is your finished journal that's how you can rewrap all of them and make them nice and trendy Okay guys, so I hope that you really enjoyed that DIY video and I gave you some ideas of what to do with your back to school supplies. But at the beginning of this video, I did mention that I was gonna be doing a giveaway at the end and I am giving away a backpack full of school supplies. So I'm giving away one of these Fajal Raven, which is I believe how you say it. I always mess this up. I'm like, hey, can you hand me my Fajal Raven Kankin? Which I know is completely like false, but how else do you say this? It's kind of a challenging name. I mean, I know there's a proper way to say it, but it's yellow Fajal Raven bag or Fall Raven, however it's pronounced. It is brand new from Urban Outfitters. I just picked it up for you guys. And inside of it, you're going to be getting everything I just DIY'd plus an entire backpack filled with school supplies. So if you do want to enter this giveaway, there are just a couple of rules. All you have to do is be a subscriber of my channel. So that's the first thing. So if you're not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel, the subscribe button somewhere on the screen. And then what you're going to do after you subscribe to my channel is to leave a comment letting me know that you're subscribed to my channel. That's one entry. But if you want a second entry, so there's two um, ways that someone could win or two entries. So you have like double the chance of winning, I guess you could say. The second way is to follow my personal Instagram account, which is at I'm Drew Scott. I'll put it on the screen for you guys right now. If you follow me at I'm Drew Scott, just leave an additional comment separate to the one that you say that you're already subscribed to my channel and that additional comment will say that you're following me on Instagram and just leave your Instagram at so if you do get picked I could actually make sure and verify that you are following me on Instagram I also quickly want to mention that my giveaways are 100% international so you can enter wherever in the world you want to and this giveaway will be open two weeks from today and I'll make sure to put the link in the description box or not the link but the date in the description box of the cutoff of when this giveaway is going to be ended and when I'm going to be picking a winner because I don't exactly know the date I'm uploading this yet but let me jump into what is inside the backpack so what you're going to first get is just a basic white binder this is probably the most boring thing but I got white because super neutral and unisex everything in this is unisex I always try to do that because I know I have both male and female followers so you're just gonna get this one inch binder which is just a necessity you know and then I also got you just some college ruled paper to fill the binder with and then I also decided that I was gonna get you two folders. So this first one's like a little grid pattern, um, super simple and minimal. And then the second one is a little bit more of like an in-depth heavy duty folder. And it's just like this nice gray. This is such a pretty gray color actually, I love this. So two folders here that you're also going to be getting. So you're gonna get this decomposition book, which I think the pattern on this is just so cute. It's like a house in the woods, there's little trees on it. And this is just like a recycled notebook. So inside you can just like write or journal or whatever you wanna do. But you're also going to be getting this notebook, which is a bright idea six by eight ruled notebook and it's just like an emoji notebook so it's actually black and then it has gold emojis on it and then I also got you guys a new 2018 2019 planner which is like this really nice shade of blue it's like a turquoise dark blue almost navy but not and it's just like your basic planner where you can jot all of your things that you need to do down inside of it so I got you a planner as well 
pet planners are expensive. This was like $14. Confused. Next up, I got you this little canvas pouch that says stuff and things, which I thought you can shove all the little things that I sh I'm going to share like right after this. You can put it all in here if you want to. So it's not just like bouncing around your backpack. So this is like a little canvas pouch to put all your stuff in. And then everything else is just like random stuff. So I got you a really chic set of ballpoint pens. Like how cool are those? Rose gold. And then I got you a pack of pencils. These are called positive pencils. And it just says like nice things on it. It says live life today, pursue pretty. Like there's lots of different little gold sayings on them, but they're just white pencils like that. These are really nice pencils actually. And then I also got you my favorite pencils, just the paper mate ones that are like the mechanical ones. These are my all time favorite. So I had to get them for you because you're going to love them too. And just a set of pens like this. Any little notebook from this local stationery company called Shorthand, which I think is so cute. It's just like a little miniature grid notebook. So you can like write notes to your friends or like make little hang tags or things. And it's also perforated as well. I just liked it all in all. And it was freaking you guys like, why do I do this? This is $11. Confused, but I love it. So yes, got that for you too. And then I also got you just a couple other little things, a little tiny swing line stapler, like in yellow and gray. I thought it was so cute. So I got that. And then a couple of these, these saved my life. I love these the most. They're called little flags and you can just put them on your notes on your um, inside of your books or whatever, just to like flag. And these tiny little pug clips. I got these in my last one too. Like check this out. They are little tiny pugs in the form of a paper clip. You're going to get 100% if you hang your stuff in with that. Like it's just already there. You already got it. Even if you didn't even do the work. A set of index cards because you all need a pack of index cards. And last but not least, I got this really cool ruler, which I found out when I got home is actually a triangle shape. But that is a giveaway. I just wanted to give back one of my lucky subscribers a really nice little package of all of like these back to school supplies. And I wanted to make them extra trendy and extra fresh and good, of course. So definitely enter if you want to. All of the rules for entering, I'm going to make sure to uh, write in the description box below so it's a little bit more clear. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you in my next one. Bye guys.